And we're back with some more room world. And we are currently raising our lovely little child here, Cowger. And uh, our other child, Katie's, is in the vat. And they're all like, we're going with the plan. We've got the color coded families. We've got five separate families, all separate stuff going on. We've also got a volcanic winter. Uh, it's going to drive the temperatures down a bit and infect crop harvest. But honestly, uh, I, I've overdone the crops anyway. So we'll be fine on that front. So who cares? We have finally researched drug production, though that's not really going to help us too much until we get psychite refining. That's 800 points. Once that's done, uh, yep, you could grind up some rocks then. But once that is done, we are going to immediately want to start turning all of this uh, psychoid leaves you made. We got, oh, wow, I made way too many, didn't I? Yeah, but this should allow us to buy out all of the, the stuff we're ever going to need to finish the last of our takeoff. In fact, that might be too much wealth. I'm, I'm sort of considering dumping some of that. Ah, it'll probably be fine. Probably. Worst case scenario, we'll get attacked by a bunch of people and we have no kill box. But, you know, that was that's also part of the plan. No kill box because, you know, that would be cheating. One problem I keep running into is I can't get them to, fo to use their uh, meditation spots. Put a bunch of meditation spots over here, but... Smokey just keeps going straight for the sarcophagus. Ah, sarcophagi? Sarcophagus. Whatever, I, I can't get them to stop. They're going for their morbid one, but they do have natural focus, and they were using it beforehand. It seems once they went uh, vamp, they couldn't go back. I mean, they still have dignified, natural, and morbid, but morbid seems to be the only ones they're interested in. Even though I've got it over here that they should be hanging around this location, like there's Smokey's one there, they, they're in range of like both types, the artistic and the natural. They're over here, where there's no... It's really annoying. I even deleted this and they ended up just hanging around in the room. It's like they can't use anything but vamp stuff now. Uh, at the same time, I think Stalker had the same problem. I tried to set them up over here doing their meditation because Stalker is also able to do uh, natural. But instead they just hide in their room and pray. It was really frustrating and that even that was even with assigning them hours. So all this Adama grass we've grown is completely wasted now. It's just rotting away and we can't use it. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, cougars have tamed. Wonderful. More meat. Uh, this baby over here, though, uh, Chewy, it, well, Katie's, they have been in here not very long, and if you look under their days, they're actually one year and two days old, whereas Kagger, who's been growing naturally, is three months, six days old. It'll be another, what, uh, seven days of their time before they become, like, so basically the, the test tube baby is outpacing the other one in growth. We'll see what their stats end up like at the end, but I'm thinking as long as we do it this way, we shouldn't have any problems. I suppose I'll find out when the comments roll in. Ah, excellent. Drug production. We can now make Psych Flake and Yeo. Uh, well, we're going to make Flake. Uh, that's the most cost efficient one. Outside of that, though, I think it's time we went on to the higher end stuff. Like, I'd like to get Death Rest. I I'd like Biofuel Refining. I would like Death Rest. I would like Nutrient Paste Dispenser. I would also like probably the auto doors for a few of the doors we've got going on. I would also like gunsmithing for the smoke launchers. I'd also like flak armor. There's a whole... Oh, and exo uh, xenogenetics. I would like all of those. Um, also, the multi-analyzer. The there's so many things we want. Just ridiculous amounts. But we're going to be burning all our intelligence in the very near future, making lots and lots of drugs for sale. I think... Yeah, kind of have to go for the smoke launcher. Actually, wait. Tell you what, we will... Oh, what's that actually... We need plate armor before we can do that. So you know what? We'll go for the smoke launcher now. If we pick up a smoke launcher at, on one of our trade runs, we're currently doing one right now over to Harmony District, whatever the hell it's called. We pick up a smoke launcher, we'll call it quits. And we'll scrap that research and go for something else. The reason being the smoke launcher would have helped us an awful lot against the mechanoid raid that came down here. That was all turrets. A smoke launcher would have been absolutely just clutch right there. So I'm really hoping we can get our hands on one of those sooner rather than later in case another mech raid shows up. Well, this place is terrible. It's got a psychic insanity lance, which we, we do want. Like, we, don't get me wrong, I, I love those, but there's no low shield packs, no doomsdays, no smoke launchers, like nothing really we want. Uh, we're just going to sell all this stuff off. I also sold off about 600 potatoes. Blasphemy, I know, but we're not eating enough. I may have overdone it on the whole uh, crop production. I even stopped planting new stuff for a while. We've got too much. Uh, show, the, show in the corn as well. Yeah, we, we've got over 2,000. It's just driving up our wealth unnecessarily. We'll cut out the planting for a bit and get some actual production done. And it's time to install another mod. Now, why I want to install this mod is going to seem a little bit weird, but uh, let me try and explain. Right now, I have a bill on this st limestone cutting bench, or this cutting stone block bench. Basically, if no one's busy, come over here and cut rock. And the way I've set it up under the works pr priorities here is crafting. Crafting is how basically stone blocks are cut up. Everyone's set to level four. So in other words, if you've done all your cleaning and there's nothing else left to do and you've done all your crafting, then they can haul. So hauling is the last, very last thing on their agenda. But that always means that if there's nothing else to do, they'll go around and do some uh, smashing up of rocks. But we got a problem. I want Damon here to start making drugs. And the thing is, to make drugs, 
intellectual is what determines how fast uh, of your speed is or how good your speed at making drugs is. So I want to make sure Damon's doing it. Problem is, crafting is also where drugs is. This is how you synthesize drugs. So what we need to do is, well, there's ways around this. What we could do is we could just remove Damon from here. We could make four separate bills for each one of our characters and spe specify that it can only be them that uses it. So we could say, yeah, this one has to be uh, Chewbacca, this one has to be Lunk, and this one has to be Stalker, and basically just spread it out amongst all of our pawns so that there's four orders, but Damon's not included, and they'll never smash rocks, but they will at least get the, the they'll go to the drugs lab first and get that out of the way. Or we could just install a mod. Please say hello to Complex Jobs. And yes, it's added an awful lot more jobs. For example, yep, yeah, now drugs is over here. So to actually synthesize drugs is under this section, so we can tell Damon, hey, you know what, buddy? I want you to make drugs before you do your research, and then after you've done all your drugs and research, then you can go back to the crafting bench. Saves a whole bunch of time. Also, actually, this is all for cutting, or that's for all for stone cutting. This is now crafting spots. When it comes to our doctors, we can make other changes as well. Also for wardening, was it? Never mind. I, I did a bunch of changes there, but one of the important things as well is it introduces nursing as opposed to just doctoring and surgeoning. Uh, nursing means, one second, we'll just put this up to two. Uh, nursing feeds patients, so instead of having your high-end doctor coming along to feed all your patients, prisoners, and all that stuff, you can just assign nurses to actually do that. It's just nice. It cuts down on a bunch of random labor. Like, I used to have Chewie wandering in here to drop off food to these prisoners. In fact, there he is. Right now. Oh, actually, he's extracting a hemodemon pack. Never mind. But this just allows you to make everything just a little bit more granular. Oh, and rearming turrets and traps. That should probably go as a three there. Yeah, you're going to want to make sure you, you crank up a few of these as well, because it does split things that before would have all been in one. It's usually best to start with this, but hey, I wanted to add it as we go to demonstrate why it's useful to install this. And it's time for our first trials and tribulations of the day. We've got a pack of wild man hunting tortoises. Um, how many? Uh, 25. That's actually an awful lot of tortoise. Hmm. Probably here. Here's probably the best bit. I don't really want to do here. It takes them even longer to get around. Yeah, this place seems like a nice compromise. Though, we don't have any grenades yet. I mean, we've just got our... We're just building our machining table. You know what? Let's uh, zone everyone inside to keep them from wandering around out there and getting uh, mauled by turtles. And then once everyone's inside, we can deal with the turtles when they show up. Somehow, Katie's has leveled up their social while inside the tank. Um... Which is kind of impossible, they don't actually have skills. Huh. Alright, so I assume... Oh yeah, the growth vat does this thing where... Click on someone here. It basically gives them vat learning. It's not nearly as good as being outside it, it seems, but... Lunk started a, sm a social fight with Smokey. That's... Not good. They're both vamps. So... Um... Can anyone maybe arrest them? Actually, no, they're our highest social pawns. Chewy, maybe? Oh, God. Uh, it's just we're about to take on a whole bunch of, well, turtles. Um, 100% hmm. chance. Okay, so we could arrest one of them. That would make them very unhappy, though. Oof. You know what? Let's, uh, let, let's keep Chewy nearby. If this gets awkward, we can step in and do something. Uh, oof. your torso has got hit twice. It's just, they're doing a lot of damage to each other. Dear Lord. And Lunk's lost a toe. Well, thank you guys for beating the snot out of each other just before we have to deal with a whole bunch of turtles. Because Lunk is supposed to be frontline tanking all of that. Ah, uh, we'll fix you all up, you muppets. Wait, Damon. Out of bed, buddy. Time to get to your specialty. Your specialty being medical tend of 16. Oh my god, the amount of, like, because of all the blood we're extracting and all the operations we've done, medical treatment is pretty damn good. One of the great things about vampires, they heal fast. Look, like, that 400% healing rate? That is kind of ridiculous. 39 on that one, and the left foot's down at 23. What's the bets that's gone? Yeah, just about... All right, I say we go out and do a bit of shooting. This, I was thinking about just putting Lunk up front and tanking uh, for the turtles so they could get in some experience as well, but I'm thinking this is a perfect opportunity to get lots of shooting experience. The reason being, there's loads of turtles that take ages to kill, and we just riddle them full of bullets. We can grind up our shooting something shocking. Uh, how's our shooting looking? We got a 7, a 6, a 10, and an 8. I'm thinking we go outside, 
shoot up a few of them, then uh, come back in, wait until the, all the XP wears off, and then go shoot some more. Uh, should work just fine. Lunk can stay inside and take care of the kids. Sorry, Lunk. And since the enemies are so slow, we can just, like, just drive them about the place and not really care too much. After grinding through a lot of enemies, and I think we went past midnight, so everyone's skill cap reset, I think... Yeah, Damon's actually maxed out again for the day. Their, their learning has maxed out. Well, they're a fast learner. So we'll send them back inside. There's no point them hanging around for this. Everyone else can go... Ooh, here's another person gone up to level... Another level. And another level. Wow, this is just free shooting experience. Everyone else, though, has not quite hit... Oh, Smokey, you can head back inside. You've actually maxed out your shooting experience for the day. I think that just leaves these two. Oh, actually, no. They've also maxed out for the day. Chewie, oh, Chewie's a careful shooter. Well, yeah. I've never actually tested if careful shooter slows down your experience gain. I just didn't, I just thought it didn't. I should double check that. They were the last, but it, you know, it's it's probably safe to assume they've they've factored that into their experience gain calculations, especially considering all the weapons. All the weapons gain you the same amount of experience, no matter which ones you're using. All right, we'll let everyone uh, do their thing for the day, and tomorrow we'll come back out and finish the last of the turtles. That was very productive in terms of experience gain. Well, we're waiting for ourselves to, well, for our XP gain to reset so that people can go back out to do more shooting. I think everyone gained one level. Uh, Smokey's gone from 7 to 8, Chewbacca's gone from 6 to 7, Damon went from 10 to 11, and Stalker went from 8 to 9. That was, it's a good run. Oh, which reminds me, floors. Give me marble right there. Eh, we're going to put in an extra bedroom. We're going to have this kid up and running shortly, and I'd like to have them out there. Now, one thing I did was I uh, moved the bedroom out of here. I think because this was a bedroom, they weren't able to use the tree for worship, so maybe that's what was messing it up, so I've moved Damon in here. Maybe that'll help? I, I don't know. We'll find out in a wee bit. Gunsmithing gives us access to smoke launchers. That's going to make dealing with any more mechanoid uh, bases just a little bit easier. I think that what I want after this is transport pods. I want to be able to start getting rid of that toxic waste we're... Uh, piling up. Oh, we're going to need biofuel refining. So we grab biofuel refining, then we go straight for transport pods. Thing is, our toxic waste is starting to pile up, and it's taking up space in our fridge. Now, there's several ways to dispose of it, but most of them involve just dumping it out on the map and making all the people around you incredibly unhappy. We sort of want to trade with all of these people, which is one of the downsides of this location, so kind of don't want to do that. We're going to fire it off probably into the ocean or something like that to get rid of it as far away from people as possible. I think this is probably the best dead zone, or... Oh, no, yeah, here is probably the best dead zone, or way over here. We'll have to see. But that's going to require a lot of biofuel to get it, out of, get it out of the park. A construction quest has popped up. Uh, looks... Uh, well, the problem is the rewards. The only one I'd be interested in here is the healer mech serum, but that has actually drastically gone down in value since, well, the introduction of those bio... Where is it? These things over here, bio sculptor pods. They basically allow you to, well, heal most of these things already, like brain damage and things like that, and I'm just not bothered. I suppose we could, it's just the amount of construction and resources involved. Ugh. But it is quite useful. I mean, if someone gets brain damage, we could fix them really quick instead of having to wait until... I mean, it's 3,000 research points. Actually, never mind, it's not even that bad to get. Uh, is there any prerequisites? Nope. Do you know what? Leave it. It's not worth the effort. Oh, and... Our baby over here is coming along quite nicely. There are two years, three quadrums, and 13 days. There's uh, 15 days in a quadrum, four quadrums in a year, so in one more aging day, they will become three, at which point we're going to pop them out, and we're going to start treating them like a normal kid. Uh, well, that's the theory. We had here, their VAT learning is at 93%. Well, I'm afraid they're not going to hit the 100% mark on that one, unfortunately. All right. Katie's became a child, uh, 12 hours. Katie's has grown up and become a child. He's now old enough to do the following. Patient, bed rest, child care, basic. All clean, refuel, rearm, load, mortuary, and deliver. Jeez, three years of age and you can work in a mortuary? I suppose that's not meant to be there. That's part of the mod we installed that allows you to, uh, it separates out all of those things. But yeah, the thing that allows him to do mortuary work, that actually is allowed now. Um, Katie's has decided to become a follower of the ideology, whatever we want, by tradition... Katie's born to... God, what the hell? Uh, da -da 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 blah, blah, blah. Whatever we want. By tradition, Katie's born to Zhang Zhaoling of the Night Vampires and Donkey Chewbacca is a tribesman. But exceptions can be made. Should Katie's remain a tribesman? Yeah? Enslave? Postpone? Jump to location? Remain tribesman. Okay, Katie's. That means you're a child. Okay, what, though, is your focus? 
See, that's the thing. They're still artistic. I want to make sure that they have a, a, a focus on... Child what the hell? Oh, that's their poor genes. Uh, fine. Uh, we need to pop you out of there immediately. So, cancel growth. That is fine. Uh, colonist needs a rescue. Actually, no, they don't. They're just going to hop back up and they have a tail. Exit. Wearing wolfskin pants. I made a set of clothing for them, so they should be able to immediately go and get themselves sorted. Well, Katie's, welcome to the rim. Your first three years of your life have been real easy, so to speak. Well, okay, accelerated life. Hey, where is that landing? I can see pods heading somewhere. What are you? Uh, several separate groups of Yatkin from the Korbug family have arrived in transport pods nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Hmm. Well, this is going to be a problem. Namely because we've been making a lot of drugs. Like, just so much flake that we were going to sell. Um, but we haven't sold it yet, so this is going to be a large raid. Let's start getting everyone together. Simple plan, get everyone in one spot and find out what's going on. Are you... So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, not so bad. Ooh. Okay, this is not as bad as I was thinking it might be. Okay, auto shotguns, pistols, nothing too terrifying there from the bun the ferries. Uh, these guys over here also don't look too bad, except what are you equipped with? You are equipped with an auto pistol. All right, then. Let's go get ourselves some scalps. Actually, some hides. I'm curious, if you butcher them up, do you get, like, human leather, or do you get, like, heavy leather? I mean, they look like the kind of people you could turn into wonderful hats, but... I have a strange feeling the game doesn't take that into account and you're just going to get, like, just normal human skin or something creepy like that. All right, let's, uh... This seems to be the closest crowd, so we'll go over here and smash these ones up, and then we can go over here and smash these ones up. I think Lunk's going to have a field day with this crowd. All right, team, let's get on with this. Uh, charge. Uh, they are piling up over here. That is good for us. Their weapons are mostly close-range stuff, except for the LMG and the bolt. Uh, everything else, they're going to have to get closer to us. So we should probably find... Actually, yeah, let's leave that on so we know where we stand. Um, we can probably approach from down here just a little bit. That way, the really long-range weaponry will have to get around the corner, at which point we can... Go. Oh, that's not good. They're charging this direction, and I need to slow this down. Um... Yeah, there seems a little bit better. Everyone behind cover. Now, Lunk, gonna need you up front, buddy. You are going to be doing some serious damage here. Hmm. You see, I don't like the look of that LMG guy. Like, not even a little bit. So... That's a miss. Come on, come on. And that's your left leg. Pretty much gone. Hit him again, hit him again. Okay, that is your leg entirely gone. Okay, then... Mm. Say we take that one. You all need to start focus firing and stop being such pansies about this. Lunk is just carrying you guys ridiculously. Hey, you. Take out that one. Ow. Did you just... Yeah, Lunk's not happy. Okay... Shoot that one. And... Yatkin from the Kobo family are beginning their assault. No, no, they're ending their assault. Their assault is ending right now. Oop. You know what? Let's just jump out of there. There's no point in hanging around. Yeah, I think we've got what we came for. Okay, they're fleeing. I'm actually really okay with that. Hmm. And let's see, what's your health at? Oof. You lost a finger. Oh my god, you've lost your middle finger. Like, what is it with you toes, ears, fingers? They just keep falling off of you left, right, and center. Everyone else is just fine. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. I would like you to coagulate Smokey because they've got a bit of damage. And uh, Smokey. Oh, everyone's shooting them up as they leave. That's good. If they could maybe capture a few, that would be nice. Uh, you can coagulate up Stalker right there. Perfect, one wound tended, and you can tend Lunk with actual medicine. Guys. Hey! That guy's bleeding out in five hours. Are they worth keeping? Another 43 female 
I think we should be able to get an egg from them at least. That means we can use them with either... Wait, how many nails do we have left that need... Actually, I think we're going to take that one alive. You see, if we take that one alive, we can at least use them to get another kid. And we do have a free growth vat. In fact, we can make a couple more. Uh, just keep shooting at the last one, though. Yeah, you, you guys suck. That... Hey, damn it, when you're finished there, how's Lunk doing? Is looking a lot better. Stalker, you are already healed up. I want you to capture that one over there. Ooh, excellent. There's a bunch of stuff we can grab here. Eh, LMG, no thank you. I'm not really that interested. You can keep it. All right, then everyone else is going to start heading over this direction. We're going to have to be ready for the next assault shortly. And I think this one will be a little bit trickier. A quick stop by the blood bank and Lunk grabbed a quick snack. Uh, Smokey even grabbed a quick snack as well, though. We had to use, what should we call it, uh, the coagulate thing to stop this prisoner from dying. We want to keep them alive because if we can keep them alive, that gets us another child. Oh, damn it. The baby's crying. Um, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Uh, no, no, you can't tend. Stalker, can you? Damn it. Does not require tending going on here. A quick bit of playing with the kid. That should shut them up. Uh, how's you looking? Yeah, that play will keep them quiet. All right. Hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Come on, we're in the middle of a fight here. These kids are making... Oh, damn it. Okay, fine. This is going to get real interesting. Uh, thing is, they've got one person there with a low shield pack. We need... And an incendiary launcher. So, that's really bad. We don't want them ever getting a shot off. They also, unfortunately, have someone who's got a... Uh, an auto shotgun, which is also bad. Come on, seriously. Put the kid back. That's fine. Okay. Everyone out. And shut the doors behind you. No offense, but I don't want them getting near the kids if at all possible. Okay, then. Uh, actually, animals. Do we have anything we can summon in to help us? Where is that cougar? Did I kill it? Damn it, I thought I kept the cougar alive. Yes, we did. Excellent. No, no, don't sterilize it. Uh, bring that with us. Not actually bonded with anyone, but if it could help out, that would be great. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to have to select and select someone, aren't I? Uh, yeah, so the cougar is attached to Chewy. Chewy. Draft on draft. Perfection. Now, we need to find some place to set up a firing line. Uh, I really should have done some... Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Some ancient shopping carts. I'm liking the look at this place. Okay, we got everyone lined up. The thing here is we want that guy to go down hard. Like, he's got to get hit. But, but only by Lunk. No one can shoot him, because if they shoot him, he activates the low shield. We'd like to keep that. But I also got to kill him so quick that the shotgun guy can't get in a hit. We don't want the shotgun guy going off, otherwise we're also in trouble. Uh, yeah, let's turn those on and see how it goes. Okay, auto pistol guy. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Lunk. You know what? Let me turn these guys off for a second. It's too confusing. I need to keep an eye on just one for the moment. Uh, that one is this guy. That guy can't be allowed to get too close to us, or otherwise he's going to cause problems. Um, yeah, long jump. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Right about. Damn it. Quick, 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 quick. And there's good. Guys, hit him. Well, awkward. Hmm. I say we focus fire. Yeah, we target that guy with the shotgun up front. Everyone for everything you've got onto him. Uh, Chewy, do us a favor. Uh, attack animals, that would be good. Oh, attack animals on fire, that would be bad. Seriously, how is that guy not injured yet? Lunk, go! Focus them down, Lunk. Uh, all right, rest of you, attack that one. Oh, that was my worst nightmare. I just want this guy to go down. Stabbed in the head. You have one hit point left on your head. How are you still alive? I know. I cannot afford to have you guys focusing on that guy. If you shoot that guy and a bullet clips him, we're in trouble. Uh, because he'll deploy that low shield. And I want that low shield. So you guys are going to be charging forward. Uh, yeah. Okay, Lunk. Get out of there. That's no point staying right there. You're going to head over this side. 
Nice. Uh, you, get there. You, get there. In cover. That is exactly what we wanted. That guy's dead. Uh, shotgun is miles out of range. That guy's down. And that guy's about to get mauled by a cougar. Yeah, perfect. You guys have, have anything worth taking? Eh, flak vet. You know what? I don't care. Some wake-up would be nice, but the real prize here is that low shield pack. That's going to help us so much later on. Oh, I should probably put out that fire before our vampire goes a little bit crazy. Or our vampires. Well, we've claimed most of the stuff from here. A few things got left behind. Uh, we're going to get the incendiary launcher, and I think we can start burning our corpse piles. That might actually be more efficient, though we'll have to change some zones and things. We're only letting the, the robots carry the corpses, just to avoid all the negative moodlet debuffs. Disease infection on Nicole. That's fine. We've already got a, an ovum out of both the, well, both the furries we picked up. So we've got two females, so we've got two eggs. That means, well, we're not going to combine it with Chewbacca. Chewbacca's already a furry, so we don't want two of them. Uh, the remaining two males then would be Lunk and Stalker. No, Lunk and Damon. So Lunk and Damon, they both get to have a kid now as well. In fact, this is actually spreading out quite nicely. I thought it was going to end up, well, what I was going to try and focus on doing was getting one pawn and get them three kids just so they could knock them out of, off the, the list. But it seems like we're just getting one for each one. So it's going to be Lunk next and uh, Damon. So I think I want a few more growth vats. I think two growth vats would probably help an awful lot here. Uh, in fact, just stick another one right there. We're probably going to have to demolish these later, but I want to get the uh, the birthing started as soon as possible. More kids, the faster, the better. Now down here, you'll see Katie's. They are... You're sky dreaming? Oh, hell no, kitty. You're in... What the... No, no, you're in kids inside. That's right. Uh, you can do radio talking. Yep, that's fine. So we want to like zone them inside, otherwise they're going to wander out here. This is what one of my friends told me, he said, you let them wander around outside, they're going to end up getting eaten. Uh, it's just the way Randy Root rolls. So what I've done is I've created a zone, which is nice and safe inside our base. And uh, let's see, uh, kids inside. So the kids will stay inside here. If they need to do some nature wandering, well, there's a whole bunch of nature right there they can wander around in. Otherwise, they can do whatever else. In All right. And anyway, over here, you see this thing called learning. Uh, and this is a thing called growth tiers. So, oh god, um, I'm not even sure I understand this fully yet. Trying to explain things you don't understand fully is just, yep, it's amazing. Uh, alright, so, basically, the kids have this learning thing up here. The higher this learning meter is, the faster this growth meter will go up. You'll see right now its progress is plus 2.14 a day. Um, so that means every day this goes up by 2.14. However, the higher their learning gets, and when it maxes out at max learning, like 99.9% .9 or 100% learning, this will hit 3. So they'll get plus 3 per day towards the next tier. So what you're doing here is basically just, the more they learn doing all the things they want to do, and the things they want to do are listed up here, their learning desire at the moment is talking to people on the radio, or watching some clouds, sky dreaming, whatever. So as so long as their learning desires are fulfilled, their growth tiers will keep going up. And at this current tier, they get one trait and from one option. As in, they will be offered a trait. Uh, it might be ugly, or it might be pretty, or it might be tough, or weak, or whatever. There's, there's so many traits to be offered, but they'll only get one option, meaning you're stuck taking whatever they give you. However, on the next tier, as in once we hit 30, we'll be able to choose one trait from two options, meaning as long as we get to 30 learning before they hit the next age. Now, the next age they hit is 7. Once they turn 7, we need to have this not just got past 30. In fact, let me show you the little graph. I have pulled this straight from the wiki. I haven't actually done any research on it myself, so I assume it's accurate. But basically, if we get up to 30 points, we get one from two options. If we get up to 80 points, we can get one from four options. But more importantly, once we get to 100 points, we get one. We get to choose one trait from four options, but we also get the choice for one passion. So we can get a passion in one skill. In fact, we want to get it all the way up to 162 points, because then we get to choose one trait from six options, which means something like tough or fast learner or something like that might be on the cards. Well, far more likely when you've got six options to choose from, and we're less likely to get a bad one. And at the same time, we get to choose three passions from six options. And by six options, I mean we might get shooting, melee, construction, whatever. So we'll get to pick three of these skills and give, well, out of six of these skills, we get to give pick three of them and give passions. Or maybe we get to give burning passions to things. I, I don't know. We'll have to play around with it when we get it. But we want to make sure this kid stays as learningist as possible for as long as possible, just to make sure we maximize their chances. 
Now, as far as I can tell, though, this whole one to three years old thing, that doesn't count anything towards this, which is why I chucked this one into a growth vat. I figured one to three doesn't seem to matter. They do a bunch of crying and stuff, and they have to eat milk when they're one to three, so stick them into a vat, grow them up until they're three. They don't seem to get any negatives to their learning, and we should be able to just let them go ham. Well, that's the theory. Whether or not it works, no idea. We'll find out as we go along. Well, Cowgirl is sort of our control, and Katie's is, well, going to be bred the same way as all the rest of the kids from now on. Oh, one thing we desperately need to do is sort of reorientate our prison. I've left a gap in here so that they can, uh, we can get in and out from this direction, and then I want to wall off this section. Stop them being able to go through the nursery. Seems like a good uh, structural decision. Okay, second pod coming online, so I'm thinking Lunk and, what was it, Damon? Yep, time for you two to see. One there, and... One there. Yep, don't do the same one if at all possible. Actually, we'll cancel. We'll cancel you for a second. Make sure you're not going to interfere with Damon's one. All right, both eggs are done. Actually, let's have a quick look at the genetics on these ones. Right, strong melee. That's good. Aggressive. Oh, slow learner. Great with animals. Uh, heat tolerant and naked speed. What do we got on this one? We've got... Oh, sleepy. Well, that sucks. Poor with plants. And... That's it. You didn't get any good ones. Oh, wow. That kid just got all the short ends of the stick. Uh, wow. Sorry, Damon. That is, uh, yeah, sometimes you just, you, you, you roll the dice and the kids just come up snake eyes. Hey, at least, you know, Lunk's kid is fine. And what the hell was that? You crying? Don't be crying. You're making people unhappy. Next two kids on the way. Uh, we've been lucky so far. We haven't had any complications. Let's hope it stays that way. Uh, we'll keep those two furries around for a bit. Hopefully someone comes along to buy them. Chewbacca Chewkeeper is no longer inspired by our work frenzy. You know what? That is okay, but they should probably get back to work. We we can't... We need more meals. Jesus, how many meals have we got at the moment? Uh, not enough, I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, we have all of these full over here. I don't want to start filling these ones over here because they're really far away and that's just painful. So I think... Hmm, we're going to have to cull some of our prison population a bit. Or... The research at biofuel refining and ah oh, yeah our research is kind of ground to a halt for a bit namely because of all the drug production but i think the drug production is finished and it's time to go sell those as well okay that's awesome we can get the kid to take care of the other kid and the amazing thing is katie's was born after cowgirl but because <laughs> because we stuck them into a pod they now grew, they're now older than them ah uh, excellent right, most of the ash is settled oh excellent that means the volcano's done uh plants can grow better uh, you know what? No, we'll, we'll hold off on the psychite for the moment. I've just about got everything recovered and I want to go on a bit of a shopping spree. Uh, I just want to get one research finished first. Nutrient paste. I switched to that because I want to put in a nutrient paste dispenser for our prisoners. I think it'll cut down an awful lot on labor. And I've been drilling out a hole back here. Fortunately, those uh, dark green, or I don't know what people call those colors. I, I'm just going to call it dark green. That there, if we start taking those tiles out, we can get infestations back here. So we don't want to be digging under any of that, uh, whatever it's called, overhead mountain tiles. That's bad for infestations. But I think we can stick in one right here, and then we can feed them food from this side without ever having to enter the cell. Cuts down on a whole bunch of cooking for us, because, well, like Chewbacca, they're wonderful. Excellent pawn. Problem is, they just keep sleeping all the time. Uh, we've only got... 18 fine meals right now and we need a lot more like the moment they go and have a problem or get injured or anything like that our food supplies start dwindling i've got this set to like 60 meals and we are miles away from that currently they're prioritizing it but yeah they're going to be exhausted soon and have to go to bed ah nutrient paste excellent uh give me the research screen what else have we got in here that we wanted ah, yeah that was it biofuel refining and then we wanted transport pods yeah we're, we've almost filled up our toxic waste deposits how am i going to squeeze this in here well, prisoners are getting fed, but more importantly, Katie's has reached level two in shooting. Oh, do you like their helmet? They all get a little steel kid's helmet that looks sort of like a bicycle helmet. I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really want to put them in combat just yet. I don't even know what the health amounts their body has, so let's not maybe risk bullets anywhere near them. That would be bad. But uh, it seems they're getting training from Chewbacca on shooting, which is good or but I think they're our weakest shooter by Lunk, and Lunk just can't shoot. Everyone else has higher shooting, so why are you getting training from Chewbacca? That's just weird. All right, but hey, makes them a little bit better at shooting. Maybe they'll give us an option when the time comes. I've been figuring this out. If uh, they've got four years before they hit age seven, 
So we need to keep their learning at at least a minimum of 2.7 for the whole time. As long as we keep it at 2.7 or higher, by the end of the four years, they will be maxed out. And it's a heat wave. Hmm. Do we care? I think everyone's got at least some decent protection. Uh, yeah, what's your gear going to protect you down to? Comfortable up from minus 40 up to 30. Yeah, we might want to get you a duster. Hmm. Well, well, uh, we'll keep an eye out. Worst case scenario, we can just throw down a bunch of passive coolers. Oh, Lunk just broke up. Lunk and Stalker. Oh, damn it. Now I need to get them a bedroom. Ah. Uh, Fine. Uh, I need to reinstall this hospital bed somewhere. Mm. You know what? Over here is Grant. There's light and stuff, and uh, we'll get a, a. We'll have to move Stalker out. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, this is really going to affect people's mood for a while. Ooh. Trading. Double trading. And an exotic goods trader. Selling 358 flake neck nets us 20, 2923 silver. That's kind of mental, uh, but I... Oh, damn it, I didn't have anything we really want. Not even a doomsday. Come on, guys. Ooh, low shield. Yes. Okay, so they do have something we want. They do have word of love. I think we would like that. That would be handy. Ooh, an aesthetic shaper. No, no. We want... Bionic, a bionic leg would be actually much preferable right now. Uh, Lunk is, is definitely limping an awful lot. All right, you know what? We'll save some of our drugs. We don't have to give them all the drugs. Uh, yeah, whatever. Something like that. We'll take as much of their cash as we possibly can, and then we're going to head back home. Uh, that's going to take 0 0.7 days. This place isn't refreshed for 19.7. This place isn't refreshed for 20.8. Wow, it's going to be a while. Anyway, while we're back here, Lunk, actually, who's got the best trade? Yeah, it's Lunk. Uh, okay, Lunk, you're meditating. Well, when you're done with that, go call those exotic trade gooders. Oh, and as well as that, there was a couple of archite capsules back at the last place. They're the ones that allow you to do gene modifications, like the super duper gene modifications, like these things, say Deathless. It requires an archite capsule to install it. But first, we'd actually need the gene. It, it's too early to be buying those, but uh, maybe I'll regret that later. You never know. More of those archite capsules that are incredibly rare. Hmm. I think the spawn rate on those will probably be adjusted at some point in the future. Right, they don't have anything I'm desperate to get my hands on. I would like the shot glance, but you know what? I think I'll wait until uh, our main trader comes back. Namely because, well, they can get a better trade deal. If the trader goes away before, then I can live with it. One thing I would like to change right now, though, is kid growth rates. Now, the thing is, we're doing a multi-generational colony combined with Arconexus quest. And, you know, it's going to take, we're going to have to raise three groups of kids. So 15 on this playthrough, 15 in the next, 15 in the one after that. Well, assuming no casualties and stuff. But... That's a long time, so instead what we're going to do is maybe speed things up just a little bit. We're going to go into the storyteller ah, story settings and we're going to crank up kids from 4 speed aging to 6 speed aging. Now, I did some checking on the side and from what I can see, this does also change their learning rate. Uh, it used to be the max at about 2.7, now the max at 4. Basically, this just means as long as we keep them at high enough learning rate, they'll still get all the skills and all that. It's just slightly different numbers. They've tweaked things so that if you're growing them faster, they learn faster. So it shouldn't be any real difference, it should just take us less time before Katie's goes from being just this cute, adorable little runaround thing with the tail and what looks like a bicycle helmet to, you know, like a hardened killer. Yeah, that's kind of where it's all going with this, isn't it? Ugh. I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, what what are we going to grow Katie's up to be? Like, they're a hybrid and they've got some similar traits to their father. Like, they've got the tail, but they've also got, like, they're psychically dull, they've got the naked speed, they've also got the awful mining and the great with animals. And a bunch of other little traits here and there. And reduced pain, which I think they got from their other side of the family. But I think I think we're going to turn them into a cook, just like their dad. Uh, we need a second cook, and they're the first pawn through, and they look like they'd, they'd work at it. Well, we could also go with something else. We could just make them a crafter or something along those lines, though. You know what? We'll have to see what happens as they grow up. They may have different passions or pursuits. Well, it looks like we filled up our fridge with toxic waste packs. That's, uh, not great. Uh... Well, mine out one more square, but I think we're going to have to do some interim emergency procedures to deal with our waste problem. Chewbacca, where are you? You're training a cougar. What? What? Fair enough, buddy. You, you do you. But uh, I'm going to need you to immediately get onto prioritizing the electric stove after that. We're running out of meals here, and you're off, like, playing with a cougar. There goes biofuel refining. That actually gets us a little bit closer to dealing with the waste problem. And uh, next up, though, was transport pods, I think. Yeah. 
don't really see any other way of getting rid of them much quicker. So we'll get transport pods out of the way with. Once that's done, I'm thinking deep drilling, ground penetrating radar scanner. Oof, we're still going to need components, though. So then we're going to need multi analyzing fab. Oh, God, there's so much stuff we need. So much research. We just don't have enough labor. This chem fuel, chem fuel refining or biofuel refining has given us access to a decent amount of chem fuel. Before, we were relying on the boomalopes, but they don't provide you like the big bulk we're going to need to produce, well, frag grenades. You need 80 chem fuel to make uh, frag grenades. And we can't afford that because we're running four chem fuel generators. So we couldn't, like, this is sort of our continuous supply to keep this topped up. But we needed that extra bit of chem fuel just to get us over the top and get us some grenades. And we need those frag grenades desperately for waste disposal. These kids are actually really handy for cleaning up about the place. This one, well, Katie's here is pretty much doing a whole bunch of cleaning. Well, they're zoned out of the prison area. I'm not mad enough to let my kids into the prison area with the people who might go mental, you know. So we're not being completely mad, but they're just cleaning around the regular base. And it seems to be working out quite nicely. They sort of act as little rumbas, but, you know, once they grow up and they can take care of the other kids. So you can have the current generation taking care of the next one. Really does cut back on labor. A feral child has wandered in. You can attempt to tame him. Uh, so basically it's just a wild man, but instead of being a wild man, it's a wild child and it's a Neanderthal. No, a slow learning slow poke. Uh, Lunk might like it, but no, 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 no. We do not need any more. That kid will wander off after a while or not. I don't care, but we're not, we're not. We're not adopting anyone. We've already got two kids that are about to pop out in about 1.1 and 1.2 days, respectively. Oh, finally. Anima tree linking has become available. I figured out what was causing the problems here. I had a, oh, this place is a bedroom. Turns out if your anima tree is in a bedroom area, no one will meditate in here. I had no idea, but I'm thinking Smokey's going to be the one to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to make it Smokey. I was going to make Smokey uh, with the Empire, level up the Empire, but I think this might be just the faster way to do things. All right. Start your linking ritual. Now, unfortunately, Katie's can't really meditate at the tree. I may have to do something about that, though, because they they are a tribal child. All their parents are worshipping at the tree. Shouldn't they be able to do it as well? I suppose we'll find out as they grow up. Maybe at their next uh, breakpoint or whatever, they'll suddenly be able to do it. But I doubt it. I don't think they've count counted that into the game just yet. I'm curious, actually. I wonder what Smokey will get out of this. Uh, come on, Smokey. Hurry it along. You're going to be a vampire with level 2 side casting. That should be pretty useful for us. All right, what do you get? You got Word of Joy. Actually, that's pretty handy. Hmm. It's sort of like a joy wire implant, but it's only temporary. I think it lasts 5 to 8 days or something on whoever you do it to. Uh, useful when someone's having a really bad time. Like, say, they've gone through a nasty breakup. Oh, damn it. That reminds me, I should probably get Chewy on top of that. I tried to counsel Lunk, but it didn't work. The counseling session sort of backfired and Lunk just got angry about it. We'll give it another go once uh, Chewbacca is up and running again. The only problem with Chewbacca is their social is super low. So any convert, counsel, all those abilities are not really that great for them. Uh, the problem being, all their social is terrible. I think if we try to, say, do a counseling session with Lunk, chance of success, 49%. Uh, problem is Chewbacca's skill is just too low. I mean, they do like each other. It's just a case of... I think we need to get a, some sort of skill trainer. Ooh, healthy vat baby. Okay, let's see. The embryo of Nicole and Damon has finished gestating in a growth vat and has become a healthy baby. The baby has given the temporary name Baby Zord Drogo. Okay, postpone for a minute. Jump to location. Okay, baby. Um, What is your gene pool? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the bad one, but it doesn't make a difference. Yeah... A sleepy poor plants pawn. That is just... Wow, you got the short end of the stick. We're going to stick you straight back in the tank. But first you get a patron name. Sorry, patron, in advance. Please welcome Lindsay Meyer to the team. Uh, for the last name I've put in Damon because that is their father. Uh, or... Mother, mother, I can't even remember which one's which. You go to over there. And we will have to do a little bit of modding on their genes to make them the same colour. I want to make sure all the kids are the same colour as their parents. It just feels nicer. You, however, Anna, you need to get right back in the tank. Uh, what? No. Uh, Katie's? No. I want to insert Hannah into the tank. I, oh my god, the dog carried them over there. That feels... That feels a little bit dangerous. Uh, mildly suspect. Uh, Lindsay? Get right back in there, please. And we'll have another baby born in a minute, and then we can give that one a name and get them back in the tank. Uh, I don't think they're going to catch up with Cowgirl. Cowgirl is... Two years, zero quadrums. Oh my god, they've still got four more quadrums to... Or three quadrums to go, but three three quadrums a bit. They might actually just be about aged up once these other babies get old enough. And where are the... 
Ah, oh, damn it, guys. Just stick them in the tank. No need to be wasting time feeding them or anything. Sick. That birth. That sounds bad. Um, the embryo of condition Lunk has finished gestating in a growth vat and has become a baby. Unfortunately, the baby is sick. The baby is giving temporary name. Okay, you can change it until within one day after its birth. Uh, just jump to location for the time being. Common infant illness major. Uh, without basic medicine and tending. Yeah, we're going to go all out on max medicine there. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give it a patron name. If it lives, it lives. Please welcome Pap Papers... Papper Silly or Papers... You know what? Paper Silly we're going with for now. Uh, actually, Papper Silly. Pap Papper Silly. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, we're going to accept them onto the team. Uh, Smokey, I want you to rescue them immediately. Uh, where are you going? You're putting them into a medical bed. That is... Good. Then, Damon, where are you? And... Uh, I want you to be over near our medicine. Where is our bestest stuff? Yeah, we're getting you straight. We're going to use the bestest medicine we've got as opposed to herbal or industrial. Uh, nope, nope. Prioritize feeding. No, prioritize tending to the new burn. Nah, Smokey's not getting on this. You have a medical skill of 17. Smokey only has a medical skill of, what, three? Wait, how the hell did you eat? i got to change the medical preferences. All right, let's hope the baby makes it. 130% 10 quality. That should help. Can be tended in 18 hours. Rest follow rate plus 100. Tending expired. Okay, we just got to hope the kid makes it. Uh, the other kid should be... Why is the other kid not back in the tank? Seriously, guys, someone put that kid in the tank. Ah, finally. Transport pods. With that out of the way, we can finally start firing waste off our tile. That makes using the mechs a little bit easier, and we can start expanding our mechs. That's going to cost us steel to do it. Yep. We'll see that in a minute. I think for now, we backfill plate armor because it's a prerequisite for flak armor. And uh, then once that's done, we can get blowback operation, uh, gas operation, and then we're probably going to want precision rifling. If we're going without a kill box, we're probably going to need assault rifles. I learned that on the ice sheet. Oh, and there looks to be a bug with mechanoids and the mod I used, the complex jobs. When I added complex jobs, uh, the mechs didn't get updated, so basically they're not harvesting things unless I specifically tell them to. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of dev mode to destroy and recreate this little bot so it'll actually update its jobs. I just thought I'd make you aware, if you did want to run that mod and you're in the middle of a save, you're going to have to like wild and tame all of your bots again just to make them function correctly. Uh, it's just one of those side bugs. I'm sure it'll be patched out in a future variant. All right. Next up, we need to get rid of that waste. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is get a transport pod and launch some of this away as quickly as possible. We need to free up some space. Now, miscellaneous. Ah, yes, pod launcher. Costs a bit of steel on that, but I think we can put... Hmm, trying to figure out where we put it. Eh, no, that's going to be in the way of something. We'll stick it over here. Yeah, that way we have plenty of room to expand this if we need later. We fill it up with fuel, we load it up with a pod, and... Oh, come on. Milk gave them food poisoning? That Why didn't you use the... Okay, who ate all the baby food? Guys, stop eating the baby food. Oh my god. Okay, so we got a kid with food poisoning and a common infant illness. That's... Not great. Just not great at all. Thankfully, we still do have some... Glitter World Medicine to give them a second tend, but let's hope the kid's luck doesn't get any worse. Lunk here is having a real bad week. His kid's sick, uh, he's got his proposal rejected, uh, child is unhappy, like, rebuffed, and, like, just all sorts of problems. Must have a prime chancel? What the hell? We do have a prime chancel, do we not? Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. A prime chancel is actually a marble table, or a marble, uh, well, a big temple type thing, one of those altars. That's why everyone's got a minus six. Is it minus four? Well, we'll throw that in and it'll help everyone's mood just a little bit. How's the kid doing? Kid's up to oh, only 1.2% left. We got a 121% tend on the second attempt. Once that common infant illness is gone, they should be safe. Which would be not... It's weird the way you gotta, like, take care of kids now. It makes it very uncomfortable. All right, the kids still got food poisoning, but that's fine. We've got plenty of baby food now. They should be able to feed it that. And the dog's going to, like, pick it up, I presume, by the scruff of the neck and just, yep, drag it over there. That's perfect. Uh, you. Yeah, we're, we're going to unassign you. Lindsay's never going to be sleeping in one of those cots. Once they get over their food poisoning, they're going straight into the tank as well. We don't want them uh, hanging around and requiring labor. Since Lunk is so 
borderline happy. I think we send him to death rest now. Um, I don't see a reason why not. They start their death rest now. Actually, let me check something here. There's 18 days left on that. Does that still disappear while they're sleeping? Because from what I can tell, their hemogen levels remain constant while they're sleeping. Also, their food levels don't degrade, so their food and hemogen stay the same. Psyfocus does degrade, though, while they're in death rest. So the moment they wake up, they're probably going to have no Psyfocus left or, left, or very little. But by and large, everything else seems to pause. So we'll see what happens there on the... I'm kind of curious to see what happens with the proposal rejected, though. If that keeps going down, that'd be an interesting way to get over a lot of negative issues if you've got vamps. One thing to note that I learned about death resting is it's always four days. Well, unless you've got some uh, special tech, it's always four days when you go into a death rest, no matter how full your bar is. So if your bar is at 80% and you decide to have a death rest, you're still going to want to do four days before the, the pawn wants to wake up again, otherwise you get those negatives hitting them. So usually best to let their death rest meter go down a fair bit. Now how quickly their death, mess re death rest meter charges up doesn't quite match. So if you have them completely drained and they go to sleep for four days, their death rest, me rest meter might not have filled up the whole way. Alright, at the same time, transport pod loading complete. Uh, now I've filled a whole bunch of toxic waste packs in here. I don't know if they degrade while they're in there. That might be interesting to find out. But that has actually freed up some space in our fridge. Um, in fact, we will shrink that zone down a bit. One, two, three, four. You know what? We'll shrink it back a wee bit for now. The plan would be to get rid of all of that, though. That, that is a plan for a later date. For now, we just want to do a little bit of trading. Out on the world map, Smokey here is on a quick tour. Hey! Go, go drop off some gifts. What are you doing, buddy? Stop napping. This crowd down here do not like us. Not even a little bit. However, I am kind of okay with that. Eh, if we check them out here. Yeah, they're, they're a decent enough side, but I would like to become friendly with them so we have an extra trade partner. Right now, all of our other trade partners, well, they need to restock. And I'm hoping they have some shock lances on them. That would be really nice. But for now, we're going to offer them some gifts so they might actually like us. Since they're at minus 100, let's see if we give them how much we're going to have to give them to make us like us. There we go. According to this, if we give them all 425 flake, that's a lot of flake, and a whole bunch of stuff, we can offer all those gifts. Enemy now neutral. Perfect. Now we can actually trade with them. Uh, probably not worth it, but, well, I didn't want all that stuff hanging around. That was just driving up the wealth on our tile. Let's see if you've got anything we want. Oh such inner skips. I really do want to get my hands on those. Quick bit of trading gets us a shock lance and the site trader skip. That was totally worth it. We Just for what we were looking at, totally want it. Uh, the next plan is going to require that psychic shock lance. In fact, we've already got one, two psychic shock lances is better though. There is also this emergency descent going on that I'm very tempted by. Plus four honor and we don't really have to do much. Uh, you know what? No, let's not bring any carnage here just yet. It's too much time to clean it up. Plate armor completed. Now on to flak vests. But we need someone who can craft good flak vests. And I think I have an idea as to where we can find one. Though I would also like to get my hand on something else. Brain wiring would be nice. Hmm, that requires a tech print. I need to keep an eye out for one of those. Right now, I'm putting together a quick caravan. It's going to consist of Stalker, our uh, waster, with frag grenades, our three alpacas, and 20 bags of toxic waste. Now, we're about to send them out on the map. Um, and we're sending them to right there, that uh, crossroads intersection type thing. That's going to take them a few minutes to get together, but I want to demonstrate something that we're going to be using a fair bit of in the future. So the next bit here is where it's going to get a bit weird. I did a whole bunch of testing on the side to see if this would work, but this, they covered a lot of bases, but not everything. All right, we want to dispose of toxic waste. The problem with disposing of toxic waste is well, nobody likes it. Um, for example, we have now got 20 toxic waste packs on this map. I have done a quick save game here to demonstrate what they've done. Basically, if you try to abandon toxic waste in any way on any tile, they punish you. Uh, for example, if we go into this world map here and we've just made this base and if we were to, say, abandon it. Yet we're going to abandon even the colonists on it and say confirm. You'll notice our relationships with all of these empires have changed because of pollution nearby. So... Basically, even though we created a colony and then dumped it, yep, they didn't like it. At the same time, see these component mining sites? Yep, if you go out there and dump toxic waste on that place, then when you leave, you'll get negatives for having dumped toxic waste there. Same with any of these component sites or uh, ra raiding sites. All of them, they're all annoying. Even getting ambushed. Just say you get ambushed on the road and you dump a bunch of toxic waste on the ambush fight tile and then you leave the fight tile after you've won or whatever. Then, yeah, the toxic waste still counts. Even if you lose... 
So if you're caravanning with toxic waste, you get attacked and you die and all the toxic waste falls on the ground, you also, yeah, you also annoy all the locals as well. So it's really hard to get rid of the toxic waste. However, let me load this up here. Let's just say though, you do want to find a way to dispose of the toxic waste without all of the problems associated with getting negative mood debuffs. What debuffs. You can do, bring grenades. Now, I know, grenade sounds like a stupid way of getting rid of toxic waste, and technically it is. But, as they blow up, they actually give off all this noxious gas, that's fine, completely expected. There you go. See that, uh, th now it's contaminating the ground. See that red? That is the ground being contaminated by it. Waste pack infestation. Well, yep, that seems very reasonable. Um... Uh, Oh, I think it's growing. I was terrified there for a minute, but it turns out there's just a stellipede cocoon. Ah. In that case... Grenade! Run! Well, that was a much easier way of dealing with waste. Hold on while I blow up all of this toxic waste. It's, this might take a few minutes. So there we go. We have now blown up all of the toxic waste bags. This place is completely done. Uh, you, load up those caravan. Let's get out of here. Perfect. Now they get to leave the tile and we get to leave all of this toxic waste behind. Now if we abandon the tile now, no one will care for some reason. Because there's no longer toxic waste bags here, everyone's completely fine with it. You can do the exact same thing with any of these combat tiles or component tiles or anything like that. If you blow up the toxic waste so that it's actually seeped into the ground first, no one minds when you abandon the tile. Whether or not that gets changed, I have no idea. At some, well, in the future it might, but for now, you're completely safe just blowing up toxic waste with grenades and then just leaving the tile. Uh, which reminds me, we're going to be coming back here anyway. We want to go raid the tombs in this tile, and... Where's the tombs? Oh my god, there's no tombs on this tile. That is... Well, that's just embarrassing. I came here for the tombs as well. I want to get my hands on a genie. Hmm... Okay, well, we'll have to go to another tile for that. But I was thinking of leaving this place as a toxic waste dump. As in, we come back here, dump our toxic waste, and just let it contaminate this tile, and see what it does to the environment, just as we go. It will generate the odd raid, but I don't think it'll be that bad. And if it does because of a problem, we can always get rid of it. Looks like Randy has decided it's time for us to get hurt, and it's a raid from a mech hive. Um, I'm not going to look at this one. The problem is Lunk is currently asleep. They've got 1.5 days left on their death rest. I'd prefer not to disturb them if we could avoid it. We do have insanity lances and a couple of things up our sleeve, though. You know, we've got two scythers, one pikeman here. That's doable. Over here, though, we've got four more scythers and two pikemen. Now, I was thinking we've actually got a mega sloth over here, and Chewbacca's got their uh, little animal war call thing ability going on. I say we turn that mega sloth to our side and use that to tank while we kill these guys. And if there's anything left in the mega sloth, great. Then we can turn this wolf to help with it. Uh, well, depending on how it goes, of course, and yeah, we can use that against these ones. Because these guys are closer, we'll be able to eat these ones first, then eat the, sec the other ones second. In fact, is there another Mega Sloth around here somewhere? There is, but uh, too far away. And also, at the end of it, we'll have all the meat of the Mega Sloth. Right, let's get the team together. Or I could realize that I've already gone past the hour, and I need to cut this video out here before I go too long again. Uh, we can deal with these, this crowd the next time. It shouldn't be that bad. I, I'm kind of a little bit nervous about the four scythers because without someone to melee tank. We do have a cougar, though. Also, it's Halloween here, and uh, yeah, some, some people have started setting up fireworks, so it's going inter to interfere with the recording if I keep going. So I cut this out here. Next up, I think I want to get Katie's leveled up. I want to get them, once they turn seven, I want to see what we can do with them. I'm hopeful we can breed some super babies. And preferably, some of our future kids won't all have tails. It's not that I'm anti-tail, it's just all of them have tails so far. It feels like just a little bit too much. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Thank you.